friend recommended James Nestor's book and he talks about mouth taping and then that, you know, through that, just, you know, looking around on the internet about mouth taping and things, I, uh, you know, learned about hostage tape. And so I was like, heck, I'll try it. And it's just, it was, it's been transformative. I mean, I, uh, I think I bought initially maybe a month's supply, maybe a two months supply. And I mean, within a few days, I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be a forever thing. Thanks so much for jumping on with us. The hostage tape success stories here. Happy to have you. And we'll just start by how did you kind of stumble into this weird mouth taping thing? Uh, well, um, I have over the years just struggled with some snoring, you know, been through a sleep study with my physician and things like that and never anything really serious. But um, I started using, you know, some nose strips, which kind of helped. But then uh, I have some... I sort of dabble in, you know, natural health and stuff like that. And I have my sister's a chiropractor anyway. Uh, so I'm always reading up on, you know, different things like that. And a friend recommended James Nestor's book and he talks about mouth taping and then that, you know, through that, just, you know, looking around on the internet about mouth taping and things, I, uh, you know, learned about hostage tape and, so I was like, heck, I'll try it. And it's just, it, it was, it's been transformative. I mean, I, uh, I think I bought initially maybe a month supply, maybe a two month supply. And I mean, within a few days I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be a forever thing now. And it just, um, I work as a teacher. I get up really early in the morning and, you know, and what I've noticed the most is just that I have such an increase in energy, which, you know, I mean, it must correlate with a better night's sleep. Right. And yeah, it's just, it's great. I mean, I just, my head is clearer. I have more energy. I'm sleeping better. You know, I wake up rested and, and my husband is also, he's a really light sleeper. So he's just, he's the one who's reporting like, you know, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, I just, I love the stuff. Yeah. That's, that's great to hear. We never get tired of it, but, um, yeah. So when you, when you first tried it, was it, was it a right, right away? Did you notice results? Some people, it seems to take, you know, a few days, some people are throwing on one, you know, the night and the next thing in the morning, they're like, yeah, that's, you know, that's something, but what was your experience kind of first yeah, night going into it? I, I'm, I'm a pretty good sleeper. So it was definitely, you know, within, I want to say two or three nights of sleep where I was like, yeah, this is, this is real. And kind of my only apprehension about it was, you know, I know in some of the reading people talked about, you know, feeling like it just like weird and a little bit of a sensation of being suffocated, but I didn't have any of that. So, you know, it's been, yeah, that's good. And it's, I mean, it's totally, it's totally understandable for sure. And, and even with, uh, you know, with our branding, we obviously get some, you know, weird looks, but um, it, it gets the attention. Um, but that's, that's great. So you read the book first. So you kind of understood everything behind it. Because I mean, that obviously helps as well. Um, a lot of people stumble across it as more of like a weird thing. And then they're like, Oh, mm. then they then they get to the science, but you had some of that understanding, right, about what the process was going to be. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, um, I, sometimes in the winter I grow, you know, beard and a mustache. Um, so I haven't tried it with that yet, but in your, do you know, like you have some facial hair, does it, does it in, interrupt the, the functioning of the mouth tape? Yeah. So that's an interesting one. And that's, that's one that was, was tricky to work out. But uh, for the most part, we get great feedback from people with, with even beards. So I've got a little bit of facial hair still works. No problem for me. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be just a little, you got to go a little softer, uh, pulling it off, especially oh, if you yeah. have longer facial hair, yeah. um, for obvious reasons, but no, we've got, um, you've we've got some people with, you know, full beards who are still mm -hmm. able to get the benefits, still able to create enough of a seal, um, yeah. that it, you know, invites that nose breathing while you sleep. And the neat thing is like, you know, our bodies are designed. It's like, a, it's a bad habit almost to, to default to the mouth breathing, mm -hmm. but we're set up to breathe through the nose. So, you know, as long yep. as you can, yeah, create that seal still then. 
than uh, the nose breathing, you know, kind of yeah. goes by itself, so to speak. So yeah, facial hair still works. Um, and we yeah, just recommend going a little easier when you take it off. But uh, no, that's great. Now, do you track or anything like that? Do you get into any of that stuff? Or are you just based off, you know, feel better? Okay, it works. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, I have like, you know, because of the previous journey before hot hostage tape, I definitely like I used sleep score and some other things to just sort of track. And um, I haven't, I haven't since I started using it, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's just based on, you know, just feeling better. And, and especially, you know, like in that, that afternoon slump, like it used to be really brutal where, you know, I had an espresso machine in my classroom. I was like, okay, it's about that time. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's been a big, big change. And so it's just really just based on sort of anecdotal observations of yeah. you know, myself. And I mean, that's ultimately what it's about. Some mm -hmm. people love the data. Some people love to, you know, see the numbers, but that's the number one thing is, okay, if you're feeling better, if you feel like you have more energy, yeah. you know, you are getting more sleep and and higher quality sleep. So mm -hmm. love to hear that. I mean, energy is just like, you know, without that, you're kind of, you're kind of done. <laughs> yeah. I know for me, yeah. even like, you know, yeah. one bad, one bad night's sleep, yeah. you know, just puts the day on a different. Uh, yeah, definitely. I was, in fact, I don't know, a couple of nights ago, I was on my phone and was like, oh, but, you know, maybe I should start running my sleep score thing again, just to, you know, just, it's interesting to just, you know, see the, the, the data on, you know, what's going on while you're sleeping. So I probably yeah. will. Yeah, no, it can be fun. It can be fun almost just to, I mean, tracking anything can be, can be fun if you're interested in it. But, um, the other thing I was going to ask was, have you noticed at all, aside from the sleeping, do you, do you find yourself breathing through your nose at all? Like some people say they, you know, it, they almost become more mindful of it because they've, you know, made it a habit at night. Have you noticed anything during the day or how, how has that been? Yeah, definitely. Um, what's today? Thursday. Um, no, it's Friday. Um, earlier in the week, you know, I went on this big hike with a friend of mine who's, you know, way more athletic than me. And so I'm like, you know, huffing and puffing. I live in Northern California. So there's, you know, just some beautiful hiking around here. And, um, and so I kind of intentionally, like I was, you know, breathing through my mouth and, you know, my heart rate was up and I just thought, you know, I'm going to try to slow this down and just breathe through my nose. And it was, it was interesting. I don't know if, if it was psychosomatic, but I just felt like I had an increase in my energy and endurance. And cause we were hiking for, I don't know, a bit, like maybe definitely over an hour. So, um, so, I mean, that was the first time I sort of consciously right. sort of ran that, like, let me just try breathing through my nose while I do this. And, um, it seemed to make a difference. So, um, yeah, no, it is, it is interesting. And it's, it's weird how, um, it, it has to be a conscious thing for sure to like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to switch over to this. And it can be challenging as well. I know, even if you're, especially if you're you know out of breath or hiking like that. So it is, it's cool to play around with, um, you mentioned kind of your partner and obviously it's all, it's often the partners who, you know, experience the snoring rather than the snore. Yeah. So kind of what was that like? Was it, was it obviously you felt the differences, but then you got feedback, you know, that this is better kind of thing. Yeah. He was, he was really in support of it. Cause I'm, I'm the one in the couple who, you know, I'll be like, you know, on Instagram or something. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to order that. And you know, and you know how that goes. Like sometimes you get great <laughs> stuff and sometimes, so I often get like, hold on, was this like 1030 and you were on your phone and you just ordered that? So you didn't really think about it. So I showed it to him and he's like, yeah, definitely try it out. And then um, he has a good friend who's a Czech practitioner. And so he, I don't know, came up in conversation and I'd already ordered the hostage tape. And then our friend, Michael, who's a Czech practitioner, you know, had also confirmed it like, yeah, definitely. That's great stuff. So, um, so it was Mark reporting to me like, yeah, you know, you still, you know, he said, you still, you know, made some noise while you were sleeping, but it wasn't act, you know, like snoring per se, you know, and, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, he was, he's also reported, you know, like 
sometimes like if you've been eating and drinking, you know, a bit before bed, he's like, there's been once he reported like, yeah, you were even kind of snoring through the hostage tape, but it was way, way, way less than what I used to do. So, um, but yeah, like after that first month, like, you know, I, I jumped on and ordered a year's supply. <laughs> so I was like, I got to have this stuff all the time. Um, yeah, no, that's awesome. And it's, it's great because it's, it's funny how it's, it's often a two-sided story. Like there's the person who's like, yeah, I feel better. And they're like, well, yeah, you, you sound better too. So, right. um, definitely makes sense. That's awesome. So how long have you, how long have you been at it now? Um, you said a um, month and then. Let me think. So this is June. I think, um, I think I got it like at the end of March, right in there. Okay. So, you know, maybe longer than that. I don't know. I could look back at my orders, but yeah. Um, no, that's, that's awesome. And that's, you know, op often people, you know, jump in, give it a try. And thankfully it's one of those things where most people do fairly quickly see a result mm -hmm. and, and have that experience where they're like, yeah, this works. Um, or, or not. I mean, some people just naturally, you know, uh, nose brief, like they, they don't have the mm -hmm. issue and, and they'll try it and they won't notice as much of a difference, but you know, for the problem, the, the, for the people who, who struggle, usually they're like, yeah, that was, that was a piece of it for sure. So yeah. I use the nose strips too. So I have, you know, I look really hot yeah. <laughs> when I go to bed. At night. <laughs> and was that after, did you kind of add that on for just to see if you, if you notice a difference? I or? had been using um, breathe right strips for a long time. And then, you know, when I, when I ordered the year supply of hostage tape, I was just like, oh yeah, let's put the nose strips in the cart too. So yep yeah. so. awesome awesome so you'd already you already experienced some of that it's neat because they do they can work together obviously the, the nose strips are going to augment whatever nose breathing is happening but oftentimes you know if people try those but they're still just breathing through their mouth it's not going to help that much so mm -hmm. um it's kind of the dynamic duo there so that's sure. great yeah. yeah well thanks so much for uh coming on james really appreciate it glad yeah. you've yeah experienced you know some benefits from that and uh that's our goal. So it's always great to hear uh, from people like you who are like, you know, it's working and uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah, for appreciate sure. it. Yeah, I'm so grateful for the product because I, you know, that whole like path of like CPAP and all that stuff. I was just like, ugh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to do that. So yeah, no, that's a little more intimidating, and I've never done like used one, but from what I hear, it's a. Uh, it's a whole other can of worms. So for real. Um, it's nice to have a less invasive option for sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much, Ben. And thanks for, I don't know what you are on the team of hostage tape, but you guys keep up the great work. Yeah. Appreciate it for sure. Yeah. Thanks, James. All right. Take care.